Hello everybody and welcome to a video that is a little bit outside the uh, norm, I guess you could say, by the channel. Um, but due to some some requests and also my own desire to do this, uh, shout out Christopher for uh, getting me back on the train again for doing this. But I, I did want to kind of show you guys where I've been traveling, especially because now I'm on like just on my own little road trip right now. I don't have to go back and forth from work, I'm just jumping around to a bunch of different national parks and in particular this one was Grand Canyon and I was really excited about it and it was super super awesome and I figured I would share it because it also shows you guys why I sometimes can't upload videos is <laughs> because I'm in places like this <laughs> where the service isn't great um, but yeah so this won't be like a super regular thing I am gonna be doing several I'm gonna be going to several more parks after this uh, for like a winter trip um, and I, 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 if this one does well, maybe I'll do some more. If not, maybe I'll just put them up on Patreon because um, I've seen some interest there. So yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Again, this will hopefully not interfere. This won't interfere with gaming videos. Those will be the priority. I just want to show you guys where I've been because um, they're really cool places, honestly. And especially because I'm planning on doing what I, apparently people call the Big Five in Southern Utah next. I'm currently staying in a hotel near Zion, and I'm using a voice recorder app on my phone, so hopefully this works. <laughs> but, um, so I guess we'll just hop right into it. I can't, I've done several tries at this intro, so hopefully this all works and I got all the info I wanted <laughs> stated. Um, but yeah, so this first one actually, uh, Psych is, um, not the Grand Canyon. These first couple of photos are from Navajo Bridge National Monument. I think it's a national monument. Um, and it's near Glen, near Glen Canyon, which is in, maybe I'll throw up a map. I should write, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> I'm gonna do some maps. Um, okay, now that I've finished writing notes on the back of a receipt for the things to include. Anyway, hopefully there's a map here showing you kind of where it's at. It was gorgeous. The river you're seeing in the photos is the Colorado River, which is gorgeous. Unfortunately, it is full of silt. If you can kind of see, it actually makes a really beautiful, like, swirling pattern in the water. Um, but that just means that there is uh, soil degradation further upriver, so that's unfortunate. But the bridge is super cool, and in the third photo, there's, you, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the Vermilion Cliffs back there. Um, and I had to drive past those to get here, and at the very end, I'll probably show a picture of the ver or maybe I'll throw them in now. Why not just throw it in now? There's the Vermilion Cliffs. I took it on the way out. I, had to, I drove in and out the same way, so I had to drive past the Vermilion Cliffs to get to the Navajo Bridge Monument and then past that to go to Grand Canyon um, and then on the way back and with the same route. Um, but yeah, there it is. They're gorgeous. I really want to go visit. The, the Vermilion Cliffs though are just like, I mean, it's just back road trails. As far as I could tell, I stopped at a little, like a little uh, historic marker, which was really fun. Usually when I'm driving for work, I feel like I don't have time to like stop and like take in the sights and on my off sessions, I will a little bit, but it was just nice this trip to be able to stop at whatever hit my fancy. You know, I stopped at the Vermilion Cliffs, the Dominguez Escalante Forest a service land or something like that um because and i actually did a bunch of work in colorado in the dominguez escalante uh public lands um and i knew i did not realize they extended that far um apparently they're all over the colorado plateau which here's a map of the colorado plateau ha 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 it's my favorite area <laughs> uh it's it is it is where i tend to enjoy wandering is this the four corners region colorado plateau so here we are with our standard uh, selfie, you know, when you get into the park and they have the sign and everybody always stops to get a picture at the sign. Well, I took a picture there and obviously I didn't like it very much, so I put a sticker on my face. You'll see my face later. I just didn't like my face in this one and I figured a sun was apropos for an area that's supposed to be really warm, but it wasn't because it was freezing cold. I was going to die. Uh, anyway, um, this next photo is actually of my first view of the canyon so you drive in and at least I, I came in on the east entrance and you drive in and there's a like a desert view drive and you turn on the right and it's like first view of the grand canyon and when i walked up there's like a watchtower there it's a it's a modern watchtower made by a woman i think named mary something coulter i don't know i might be making that one up um but she was apparently a really revolutionary um 
southwestern architect and a, a woman kind of ahead of her time um, doing architectural work um, in a time when women didn't really do very much of that or weren't given the opportunity to do that anyway. Um, but And she took a lot of inspiration from like native dwellings and stuff like that and tried to incorporate that into her work, which is cool. Um, but mostly I was excited for the view. Um, so this is near the watchtower and this was my first view of the Grand Canyon and I legitimately teared up. Uh, I almost cried. I was just, and my friends were making like Parks and Rec jokes, but like truly this was, I have, I have seen a lot of landscapes in my time, you know, but like this, this was something else. And I, I would have cried if it wasn't so cold that the tears kind of froze in my eyes. <laughs> so they didn't like end up dropping <laughs> or anything, but this, I, I've never seen anything like it. This is a, this is a wonder of the world for a reason. And as you can see in the photo, I was very cold, but I was very happy, <laughs> and uh, finally able to see something like see something like this, you know. So I, um, I don't know. I was I was really happy. I was really happy. But carrying on, uh, so for the first day, I actually had I had injured my back the night before a little bit. Uh, sleeping on a cot again for the first time in a while uh, did a number on my back. So what I ended up doing was um, just doing a lot of the overlooks to drive up, you know, like la la la, and you just um, get out and like do a little walk around a little bit, but it's mostly just for like looking out and doing some overviews. And uh, so that's what I did for the first day, and it was just stunningly gorgeous, honestly. And along this particular route, the desert view one, there were a lot of overviews. And at one point I did, here we go with, I made, I made a couple raven friends. So we'll see, we'll see a couple of these here. But uh, they were good, they were good boys and girls. I did not feed them because I am a responsible park goer. And you do not feed the animals, it's actually illegal. They will find you if they, uh, if they see you feeding any of the animals whatsoever. Actually later there will be a, hopefully I included it, but there will be a really hilarious, yeah I see it further on, <laughs> there will be a hilarious sign involving squirrels, <laughs> but we're not there yet. So this is just me driving down, la la la, <laughs> just looking at all the sides taking it easy on the first day and I also like I tend to like to get like my bearings um, when I go to a park especially because I give myself a lot of time right because I have I have the the privilege to do that because of like my lifestyle I don't have to like rush I don't have two days you know to, to, to get everything in I'm like I'm gonna take a week here and I'm gonna spend my first day looking around at, at all the overviews, getting like checking the maps, you know, make, seeing what I really want to, you know, check out, which usually is everything. <laughs> um, so, so it works out for me, you know. But, but yeah, I was just getting a feel for like where the good views were and. You know, looking at some of the shops and stuff, which I don't include a ton of, obviously. Um, I think we're moving into the second day now, so it's less, it's gonna be less overviews. Um, so, oh, really good. Um, if you do end up going out, I quite enjoyed, um, what is it, Grandview? Was it, was it aptly named, honestly, it was a gorgeous overview um, and Lipan Point was exceptionally beautiful and these are all on the east side um, on the west side uh, Mojave and Hopi are really good but we'll see those we'll see those later oh and here's a oh, let's see how many of these I had I had a couple selfies that I that I took here and I am but I was trying to actually take I don't usually take selfies, I get really self-conscious doing that, um, but I'm trying to be better. Just cause like, you know, I, I do want to have pictures of me 
and people want to like you know my friends and family and everybody that like they want to see pictures of me at these places so I, I try to I've been trying to be better at taking them and not being self-conscious about it there's the pictures of me <laughs> on this other view. This was the day when I was starting to feel better, and so I did end up getting out, but I had a couple, I have I think one overview left to look at. So here we go, this is when I start, this is a picture of the rim trail. So here we go, this is where I start, this, this, is, this is the day I start hiking the rim trail. And I was, at, I should have said this earlier, I'm at the south rim. The north rim is closed in the winter, uh, or at least it's open for like day use, but there's nothing, there's no, none of the museums and visitor centers are open, at least that's what I was reading. Oh, on this one I was trying to, uh, I take them facing down, I'm trying very hard to show the like, how high we are, I can't, what was it like? It's like 4,000 feet deep in in some places. It's a straight up mile deep in some places. I think it is deepest points. And like that is insane. And there I would come over and most of these have like rails. Like I'm not like just, I, I didn't go near the edge unless there was a rail. Even with the rails, I felt my stomach like wanting to like drop out from underneath me. I was like, you know, cause it's it's like, holy cow. But uh, just just the scale of this was insane. But I, here is the sign I did see at the visitor center where don't feed the squirrels, don't feed my children, they are hungry. They will, they'll get you. <laughs> Apparently freaking th up to 30 injuries a day from people trying to feed squirrels. I've never heard of such a thing. My children are vicious and they are hungry and they are eldritch, <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> So here at Mather Point, I think I will include one of these photos because the per person was really nice and they took three. Um, but this is me at an overview. I don't usually do full body photos <laughs> and I don't usually, I don't ask for people to take pictures of me because I am out on my own and like I don't mind, like, I'm doing my own thing, you know? But you're at places like this and people ask you to take photos of them and it's like, oh sure, you know, why not? Of course, you know? And, um... I don't know if I'll show the video, particular one, but it, I was trying to take a video of the canyon and the, these people asked if I could take a picture of them and I was like, oh, and I was trying to turn the video off. <laughs> but uh, but no, they were nice and they offered, you know, they're like, they're like, oh, if you take a picture of us, we'll take a picture of you. And I was like, okay. I usually say no, but I was like, no, I'm gonna do it this time. So they did take three of me, but that is me being a little dork. Um, I never know what to do with my hands. So I always just stand there like a little nun or something, I don't know. But I think coming up here, yes, let's see, this might be the, the video I tried to take where they, they, they asked me to take a, you know, a picture of them. Talking to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how you doing, dude? Do you mind taking a picture of us? Sure. Thank you very much. Oh no. So yeah, there's me being uh, socially inept, but you know, it worked out. I got a cute picture, I guess, out of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was here at Mather Point, which is named after the guy who actually created the National Park Service. So that was pretty interesting. I actually read a book recently called, I think it's called The National Parks. It's written by a guy who did a documentary of the same name and the documentary in the book are basically the very similar uh, drawing from the same material so that's how i know who mather is and so that was interesting to talk about the formation of the national park service and the national parks themselves so it was really interesting i highly recommend it but i think the video coming up is uh, a video i was trying to take earlier that but this one isn't interrupted so there's that and then I do my best with the panoramics, but sometimes they don't, I feel like they don't quite pan out, I guess you could say. I'll, I'll stop. I, I'll leave. <laughs> but here, let me see. So as you can see in the selfie, I am very, oh 
much holding on to the rails. I did get a little braver, I think, in, uh, there's a few more pictures, but in this one, um, I am, it may look like I am pretty close to the edge, I am at least seven feet away, <laughs> but, uh, that's as close as I got to it, <laughs> but, uh, it was really gorgeous, honestly. All right, hopefully this isn't too jarring. This is me like a month later, I think, after making a lot of the original audio recordings because I made way too many. And I'm just gonna do this in one go and hope for the best. But some of these panoramas that I took, I was super proud of. I took a lot because it's the Grand Canyon, right? So you're trying to take a picture of everything, but the, the camera, like the photos will never ever do them all justice. Um, but, and some of these deeper ones, like when I was looking down, I was just trying to like show how deep the canyon is. It's a mile down in places and like, it's so deep and there's still snow on some of those like, uh, what is it like, I guess, north facing slopes. Um, this was the geology museum. It was really, really cool. It was right out like these, you can see here, this was like the, the panorama view from the inside. Um, super cool. I didn't take a ton of pictures in there. Mostly these right here are just like individual um, pieces of the different layers that make up the Grand Canyon and I thought those were really really neat because um, I really like rocks. I think rocks are super cool and it's one of the reasons I wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. I thought this quote was really awesome. I'm just I'm just going through these. I'm not editing the photo length anymore. Each photo gets five seconds and we're going because the video is already way too long. I don't know who's gonna get to this point. <laughs> I have to practice. Oh, elk. Wild elk here in the Murkos. They're pretty cool. Um, I think these were mostly, there might have been a boy in there. Those were mostly girls. Um, but there, yeah, there you go. There's some more of them. I did get a couple videos. For me, elk are fairly commonplace. I think they're really cool. Uh, but, you know, I, at the same time, I'm like, I see them fairly frequently. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, I don't know if I've already said this in a different part of the video because it's been a month. Uh, but they are, um, I think they are native only to the United States or to the North American continent, including Canada. Um, but yeah, so... There's a little bird. I don't know. I thought that bird was just being really cheeky. I think it's a meadow lark. I think it's really cute. So, there you go. <laughs> um, oh, but this is one of the... There was, I think there was two, but there was, this was an art museum at the... Um, at Grand Canyon. Uh, this was the next day when I went. Um, I particularly enjoyed these pieces. Uh, they are reminiscent of the Hopi square knot that is used in a lot of their art. It's not Minecraft blocks, it's the Hopi square knot that symbolizes like the four directions and like unity and stuff like that. Um, and there's me <laughs> next to the rim and that was kind of precarious, it wasn't precarious for me but it felt precarious. There was like bars and stuff there but I realize this is a ton of photos of the Grand Canyon but I was especially uh, mesmerized by like the really deep basaltic rock. Most everything that you can see is sandstone and limestone of some sort. But the really dark rock at the bottom is like granitic and like just it, it is it is the the bottom layer of the crust essentially of like the continental crust and it's just it's just wild to me that you could see that you know what i mean that it was like so deep and so beautiful i don't know i was i was quite mesmerized by it all i honestly don't know if i'm gonna be able to talk through the rest of this this may have been a, a too big of an undertaking. I think next time maybe I'll just be super casual and not try to be individualistic on each photo. Um, I might just leave you guys here with these lovely photos for the next few minutes. Yay! Uh, oh, I guess this... So seeing the river was super super cool because you actually can't see the Colorado River very well. There's like three overlooks where you can kind of see down there at the bottom and the Colorado is huge. Like the Colorado River is massive. It's what down cut the Grand Canyon and it's but it's so tiny from up on the rim and someday I will go down there and I will go freaking into the canyon itself. Maybe when it's a little warmer and less precarious but just this this overlook right here I can't I know I can't remember it's been too long. I can't remember which name it was. I think it was Mojave or something. Um, one of the better overlooks in the park, honestly. Um, this was along, as I've mentioned, I think, before the South Rim Trail. 
and I would just walk chunks of it until I was done for the day, and then I would take a hop a shuttle and go back. Um, there are condors living here. Again, I'm sorry if I've already mentioned this, but there are there is a condor family living here. I didn't get to see any. Um, I looked, but I couldn't find them. Um, but birders really like to go to the Grand Canyon. And uh, I, of, of all the things, I'm super interested in botany, in geology, in archaeology, anthropology, biology. Uh, but but yeah, I'm really not into birds. Not ornithology is not really my thing. <laughs> or bugs. <laughs> not really into bugs. Um, that photo right there just uh, includes a survey marker. I believe those ones were like 19... 32 or something like that survey markers are something that we have to record um, Actually doing archaeology surveys. Oh, this was the empty bus the uh, empty shuttle rather that I was in at the end of one of the days Oh, and this is really hard to see but these are actually pretty dope pictures of the night sky You can kind of see the stars um, It's easier to see if you're in a dark room, but those were pretty freaking dope I was pretty happy about those. I left the shutter on my phone camera open for 30 seconds and I would like lay it as close to my car as I could and then like press the button and like drop it and um, it so the exposure was for 30 seconds and it managed to get some pretty good photos because the Grand Canyon is technically a like a national like night sky park where the night sky is like one of those things that they're also trying to preserve is like you know the beautiful views of like the Milky Way and the planets and everything um, they say it's a night sky park but I'm pretty sure I could see the lights from Las Vegas off to the west um, like just like a faint glow in the distance which uh, if you want to go somewhere at least I remember back in the day the San Rafael swell in Utah was an excellent place to see the night sky honestly in my opinion um, Grand Canyon was good too it was really freaking cold have I mentioned how many times freaking cold it was that's why on that shuttle or that yeah that shuttle pick that was empty I just like sat on the shuttle for like the whole round because I didn't want to walk in the cold from like two stops away so I just rode the whole shuttle around to get back to my spot uh, I was tired man it was, it's it's high elevation and it's really cold I try so the best section is apparently like one of those like quintessential photos of the of the Grand Canyon and I tried to find it and I couldn't really find it of course stuff's probably changed since then rock falls and stuff but um Anyway, I apparently managed to talk till almost the end of the video. I don't know. These these slot canyons, no, not slot canyons, but these side canyons, I just, the way that they're carved by the wind, rain, like snow, ice, like time, like it's, it's stunningly gorgeous. I highly, highly recommend. This was the end. Hermit's Rest is the end of um, the, oh, there's a silly little picture of me. <laughs> um, it's the end of the of the hike of the of the south trail anyway on the rim so yeah there you go uh, that's my my spoon collection i am an avid spoon collector so there you had that and that last photo was the vermilion cliffs that i had to pass going in and out of like to get to the grand canyon and then getting back up a little more north into utah where i was heading um, but thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this is so long. It could have been longer. I had another 30 minutes of audio from when I recorded this initially. And I looked at it and I was like, no. <laughs> so, um, I will, if I do these again, I will try to uh, make them much shorter. But let me know if you liked it or not. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. If you got to this point, I appreciate it. And again, I highly recommend going to the Grand Canyon if you get a chance. So thank you all again and just have a lovely holiday season and everything.